Hey, what's up guys? Greg Gilmore for The Wrap here. And in case you missed it in pop culture, Children of the 90s lost a television giant this week with the passing of actor James Avery, who played Will Smith's Uncle Phil on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. While I'm gone, I want you to do everything your Uncle Philip says. <laughs> Yo, and Viv, wait, 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 and Viv, don't leave me here. And Viv, don't leave me here with him. And Viv, he's gonna eat me. Don't leave me here, Viv. Thanks for the laughs, big guy. And we're gonna miss you, and we'll always remember you as one of the great ones. Who would you rather spend the night with? A, your wife? Or B? B. Danny, dare I ask what you're doing? I'm cleaning my leaves. Hey, and it may be a brand new year, but outrage never gets old. So naturally, there's a war brewing over Martin Scorsese's Wolf of Wall Street. People are criticizing the film for allegedly glorifying Jordan Belfort's horrible, despicable behavior instead of taking a judgmental tone and condemning it. Well, I saw the movie on New Year's Day, and I gotta admit, I don't get what all the fuss is about. Yeah, there's a lot of sex, drugs, nudity, and a lot of bad things going on, but none of it really looked all that glorious. To emphasize my point, here's a very, very small sampling of horrible things depicted in the film that I would never, ever want to do. Become a drug addict. Beat my gorgeous wife. Attempt to kidnap and nearly kill my own daughter after snorting a mountain of cocaine. Destroy my Lamborghini while trying to drive it after popping way too many pills called Quaaludes. Smoke crack. Destroy my multi-million dollar yacht and almost die in the process. Waste my money on hookers. Have sex with said hookers without a condom. Take drugs out of or put them inside a hooker's butthole. Go anywhere near a hooker's butthole. I could go on and on because the movie contains three hours of people doing horrible, horrible things. Entertaining? Yes. Inspiring? Not so much. And at this point, we all already know that Duck Dynasty star Phil Robertson doesn't exactly approve of men marrying men. But now we know he does approve of men marrying 15-year-old girls. These boys are waiting till they get to be about 20 years old before they marry them. Look. You wait till they get to be 20 years old, the only picking that's going to take place is your pocket. <laughs> you got to marry these girls when they're about 15 or 16. People are laughing, right? So he must be joking. Please, be joking. I honestly can't tell if he's joking. So, well, son, I'm going to give you some river rat counseling here. <laughs> Make sure that she can cook a meal. You need to eat some meals that she cooks. Check that out. Make sure she carries her Bible. Gotta save you a lot of trouble down the road. I don't think he's joking. 